Amaze yourself. Today on X Play. The rich bounty of the harvest comes with fantastic wars, Old West gunslinging, but mostly Guitar Hero 2. Tonight, I'm gonna rock you tonight. It's game time. Hello and welcome to X-Play. For the past five months, we've been in the long, hot summer gaming drought. From the end of E3 to the late days of Indian summer, we saw nothing but tycoon games in the Rudo sequels. Except for a few glorious gems like Dead Rising and New Super Mario Brothers, the gaming gods have given us nothing. Until now. The life-giving releases of Q3 have come, and we will now be drowning in high-quality games until the W2 start getting mailed out in January. Thus, today, we participate in the ancient tradition of harvest festivals, celebrating plenty with Gun Showdown, giving us Old West shooting action on the PSP. And later in the show, we have Guitar Hero 2. Yes, a sequel to one of the most fun games of last year. That is a clear sign that we have reached the season of plenty and joy in the gaming world. We begin with an expansion pack for a venerable real-time strategy series, the complexity of which is reflected in the game's name. Here's a review of Warhammer 40,000 colon, Dawn of War colon, Dark Crusade. Not every veteran franchise has figured out how to grow old gracefully. Sonic, Mega Man, and the Tycoon games? <laughs> I'm looking at you. Thankfully, that's not a hard and fast rule, as demonstrated by the latest expansion pack for Dawn of War, Dark Crusade. All the over-the-top, aggressively violent gameplay you've come to know and love is still here, with some additions that should keep veterans of the genre from feeling the pangs of ennui that can come with any long-term relationship. Dark Crusade introduces two new bloodthirsty playable races, the Necron and the Tau Empire. And, true to its roots, these new races are completely unique in their style, story, and abilities. If you're the kind of gamer that likes their armies nearly invincible, and you know you do, then you'll probably find yourself siding with the zombified robot factions of the Necron. Emerging from their underground tombs, they plan to wipe out all life on Cronus, as well as anyone who says, well, you probably get this all the time, but you look just like that robot from Terminator. <laughs> want an army that's tech-savvy chic but still knows how to party? Then you want the Tau Empire, combining the good old-fashioned wholesome fun of a mech army with the delicate sensibilities of a raging Mongol horde. Ain't no party like a Tau Empire party, cause a Tau Empire party don't stop until they've eaten their enemies. Literally. Dark Crusade kicks the traditional single player campaign to the curb in favor of a risk style map based campaign. You can survey all the territories on Cronus and who controls them in advance, but take care when choosing your conquests. Each territory will yield different gear and power-ups for your forces if taken. Sure, going after the Orc Horde is fun, but what are you going to get from them? Furry boots? Please. Even though Dark Crusade is an expansion pack, it's also a standalone game. Sort of. All of the now seven races are available for play during a single-player campaign, but if you want to play online as one of the five original Dawn of War factions, you'll also need Dawn of War and Dawn of War Winter Assault. Just another example of man keeping you down. You know, in a non-racist way. Sure, this is an old franchise, and yeah, it might not be as flashy as its younger counterparts, but it possesses a certain je ne sais quoi that should be enough to reignite your fire of love for mass melee violence. Dawn of War Dark Crusade gets a four out of five. Some games are sexy, they got flashy graphics, they're easy to play. They are what we in the business like to call good. 
But you're not always in the mood with that kind of straightforward, sexy game. Sometimes you want something that teases the mind and toys with your emotions. Then, after you break up with her, you can play something like Evidence, The Last Ritual. Have you ever wanted to give a serial killer direct access to your life and email address? Of course you have. Who the heck hasn't? Well, good news. Now you can. Evidence, the last ritual for the PC, plunges would-be detectives into the sick world of serial killer dementia. By accessing a CD-ROM sent to you by the FBI, it's your task to solve puzzles through internet research. Yes, internet research. Just what we wanted. A game whose main function is to make you do something that you probably have on your resume. Oh, goody. Truthfully, a lot of gamers are going to find this to be mega boring. But if you've got a mind for puzzles, or you just like to feel smart, finding the answers to the various sound, picture, and word-based riddles in the game can actually be a fairly unique and fun experience. That is, up until the point where you get totally creeped out. Because this game involves a novel attempt to be completely interactive by mixing the world of the game and the real world in a very unnerving way. Emails. You're going to get a lot of them. In fact, from the moment you start playing, you'll probably realize that this game is going to flood your inbox. Letters from your friend and colleague Kristen Lark can provide important clues, although we found that a lot of the time she was telling us things we already knew. Then there's the emails from the Phoenix himself. If you're the squeamish type that can't even watch In Search Of by yourself, you might want to wait until daylight to read these. Oh, there's one now. Oh man, fondue at the Phoenix's place in Los Feliz this Saturday. Things just went from scary to awkward. If you're not up for partying with the Phoenix or having fun with the World Wide Web, this game probably isn't for you. If, however, you're looking for a unique, brain-centric, uber-creepy alternative to run-of-the-mill PC gaming, you might want to check it out. Hey, if nothing else, it's cheap. Now what? Adam, I'm watching you. Watching you totally not respond to my evite. I know you read it. It says right on the thing that you read it. Just answer yes or no. Even if maybe it would be good. Anyway, solve this puzzle. It will tell you what I'd like you to bring on Saturday. But here's a hint. It's a veggie tray. Why do I feel like this party is going to be a total log jam? Evidence, the last ritual gets a three. Out of the five. Hey Adam. Sorry to keep bugging you. I'm still watching you. Listen, I know I said... Like the title of the game. Sounds like a creepy European sex movie Mia Farrow would have done in 1978. Uh, it has a similar tone, but in riddle form. Hmm, I do enjoy a game that's entirely about research skills. I was an excellent ninth grader. Up next, Gun shoots up the PSP. And later, ooh, Guitar Hero 2 on x -Play. the law of entropy, it's Morgan Webb. People love to talk about the Colt 45, about how it's the invention that made the Wild West possible and how its equalizing force contributed to American democracy. These people are entirely ignoring the true genius invention of the 19th century, barbed wire. Okay, sure, a gun may win a fight with the local Hopi chief, but it took cheap, fast, pokey fence material to revolutionize the Western economy. But there are no PSP games about barbed wire, so instead, we've just got Gun Showdown. Now let me welcome everybody to the wild, wild west. A time that's gun smoking like James Arnett. Ah! Howdy, partners, it's Cowboy Adam, and I've got rootin' tootin' shoot em up for all my junior deputies. Ah! So, unholster your PSP and mosey on over to Gun Showdown. Ah! Ah! It's a western, ah, the old west. When men can be men. If you got the balls. Engines could be engines. <laughs> God damn it, the devil won't give up. And whores could be whores. Come on upstairs. The original gun came out during the great Western expansion of 2005. Anticipated it first, ignored it second. Gamers wanted more gameplay in their game. What's that about? Gun didn't deliver. But now that it's emasculated down to the PSP, a second look at Gun might be just what the crazy Indian ordered. It's got it all. Revenge, 
Romance. Keep the change. Now that's my kind of romance. Revolvers and horses. Now that's my kind of romance. Ah, to live in the time when the Indians would roam free. Whatever happened to them? Nah, doesn't matter. But what I really like is the smooth saddling of the horse. Hi ho, Sessler, away! And roaming the countryside, righting wrongs, <laughs> fighting crime. Just me and my horse. Good times, good times. What's different on the PSP is that there are a heaping lot more missions. <laughs> like killing birds, or non Christians, or whores. <laughs> Speaking of whores, the best part of the game has to be the voice acting. <laughs> Only the finest of actors from the most average of superhero movies. Like the guy from The Punisher. That never cared much for six guns. The guy from Blade. Bite some jerky and collect your gear. The guy from Hellboy. Son, you've done the town of Empire a great service. And most impressive of all, voice acting legend, pottery lover, and star of Sasquatch Mountain, Mr. Lance Henriksen. I had to waste a perfectly good whore to get to the truth about you. Now that's a voice. The game is quick, maybe too quick, but it's fun. It's like living in that HBO show Deadwood, but without the long-winded dialogue. And one thing I know, it's long-winded dialogue. We give Gun Showdown three Lance Henriksons. Horde, horde, horde. Out of five. I had to waste a perfectly good whore to get to the truth about you. Hi ho, Sessler. Away. We've had two threes and a four. I don't know if it necessarily merits a harvest festival. There are so many quality games coming out this autumn, like Zelda and Gears of War, but the sheer volume and intensity of this fall's releases. We can't all be great. That's unfortunate. I like to play so many of them, but I do have limited resources due to my online gambling habits. Hey, I have a great idea. You know, you could rent the game from Gamefly.com. They have thousands of games you can rent or buy, so you can save your money for more important things. Like an overpriced drink at a socially respectable nightclub. Or skeet. Ah, uh, the shooting kind or the Ulrich kind? Does skeet Ulrich still exist? I don't think so. But it would be fun to shoot at him. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Up next. Games you don't need a console to play that you can play on a console. And later, Guitar Hero 2 on X-Play. Worried about rising monthly payments in your adjustable mortgage? And it's about time. Still getting paid in hit points, it's Adam Sessler. Before electronic gaming, we had lots of other types of games. Some of them involved toying with the emotions of others, like in chat rooms or ecclesiastical courts, except that they had to do it in real life. So instead of screen names, they had religious titles. And instead of flaming people on message boards, they just set them on fire. Remembering this golden age of analog gaming is our next title, Clubhouse Games. Way back when you had to clean Nintendo cartridges with a Q-tip, Nintendo actually started life as a playing card company in 1889. This time around, Nintendo takes it back to their Meiji restoration roots and brings you a collection of classic analog games that stood the test of time in Clubhouse Games for the Nintendo DS. Clubhouse Games features 42 different classic games all packed into one tiny DS cartridge. You'll find everything here from solitaire to poker to chess to random puzzle games. You can even play Old Maid. But enough about Madonna. Basically, it's almost every game you'll find on one of those touchscreen arcade games on countertops at the local hole-in-the-wall bar. But if they only had that photo hunt game, you know, the game where you have to find the differences between the two pictures. Ooh, there, and there. Well, aside from the touchscreen arcade games that drunk people play, you'll also find real games that real drunks play at real bars. Like darts, billiards, and soda shake. And just like playing these games in real life, nearly every game in the collection is playable wirelessly. The DS's Wi-Fi capabilities means you never have to settle for playing against the computer. The internet is a place for friends, not just MySpace users and child predators. As you can see, this game doesn't look as aesthetically pleasing as the internet nowadays, but I do find it very odd for Nintendo to have a party game that doesn't involve mushrooms, stars, or a Japanese interpretation of an Italian. Yahoo! Although it doesn't have the blessing of Nintendo's franchise characters or stellar graphics, Clubhouse Games does use the DS's capabilities with flying colors. The touchscreen works great with these ageless games, and the ability to play over Wi-Fi breeds new life into these timeless classics. 
Regardless of a few quirks here and there, Clubhouse Games caters to gamers of every skill and interest level. It's a great game to have on you at all times whenever you want to kill time. We give Clubhouse Games for the Nintendo DS a 4 out of 5. Oh, even the lame DS versions of games you can play without electricity are good. Truly, Atheos has given us a bountiful harvest of games this year. If you'd like to keep track of this year's game crop, stop on by g4tv.com slash xplay to look to our recent reviews and loads of other articles, videos, and recipes. Also, stock market. It's still there, waiting for you. Moments away, you're a rock god all over again on xplay. You're in G4's video game mashup. Now, cheat. They are going to rock this town. Rock it inside out. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back to X-Play. If you wanted proof that we've entered the season of quality gaming, doubt no more. We have a sequel to one of the most enjoyable PS2 games from last year that's every bit as fun as the first one. Here's Guitar Hero 2. Once upon a time, in a bleak, fuel blighted land, a wise woman uttered these seemingly hopeless words. We don't need another hero. Now, that sounds great to some dirty orphan wandering around Thunderdome, but in these parts, heroes make good television. Batter up, Shredzy. It's your turn to put on the cape. Who's ready to strap it on? You are! Guitar Hero 2 for the PS2 is back, timely as Mahler's metronome. The initial release created a resonating power chord within peripheral gaming when it came out last year. The playlist was legit, and the title's colorful riff technique proved as challenging as it was fun. So how does Guitar Hero follow up on its first sold-out tour? Get a load of the set list. The rust your arms skyward, and with a switchblade-like snap, release pinky and forefinger to form the sign of radical musicality and inebriated conviction. The soundtrack is awesome. Here we go. From Danzig to the Reverend Horton Heap, the title balances credible edge with broad-based appeal. And yes, it's got free bird. You may now lower your lighter and light your bong. I mean, this playlist is good, but what about those little shred-worthy moments in everyone's given day that perhaps may get overlooked? Don't they deserve anthems of their own? And the truck door comes in the night! X-Play Records is proud to present a golden treasury that gathers together humankind's most personal moments in the capable hands of guitar stylist Fidel Shedfish. Breathe deeply through such epic melodies as Mother, this heroine seems broken. My trip to Ireland. I wish my nuts were filberts. Would it be weird if I kissed your dad? Send $36.99 to X-Play to receive this beautiful treasury. Guitar Hero 2 also brings a welcome rehearsal mode to your living room's floodlights. Here you'll be able to practice before you preach. You'll even be able to slow the action down so your digits can familiarize themselves with the cruel braille of rock. Multiplayer has also been upgraded and features the ability to share lead and rhythm duties side by side. With an expanded chording technique, a welcome rehearsal mode, great multiplayer, and a face-blistering, heaven-be-shredded collection of tunes, your time in the Thunderdome has come. We don't need another hero. We demand it. A five. I came for the schnitzel and left with the gout. Out of five. Please enjoy some of our nice X-Play replay. Dark Crusade got a four out of five for expanding on the winning Dawn of War series and adding a neato single player campaign. Evidence The Last Ritual got a three out of five because it's engaging but not for everyone. Gun Showdown got a three out of five for lacking refinement yet still fitting the Wild West in the palm of your hand. And Clubhouse Games got a four out of five because it's a lot of classic fun packed in one handheld. And Guitar Hero 2 got a five out of five because it rocks. Ah, speaking of the rock and 
Animal Lifestyle, it's time for viewer mail. Today's mail comes from Aldo. Aldo writes, you guys don't seem to review many PC games and there are loads of great ones out there. Is there a reason? And what are your favorite PC games of all time? Dear Aldo, did you happen to watch the show this summer? Because just about all we did all summer long was review bad PC tycoon games. Yeah, you must just be, uh, I don't know, seeing the wrong episodes because we review PC games all the time. And as for our favorites, what we like, Half-Life. Of course, Half-Life Half -Life series. Unreal. Yeah, play Unreal Tournament, Unreal every tournament. iteration you could have of Unreal Tournament. And then the real-time strategy games, perfect on the PC. Yeah, so you can go back and play, play, play StarCraft, which is a little classic, or if you it's want to update, popular. you can get Warcraft. There's probably another thing with craft in it, maybe Craft Cars and Crafts. No. When you just make noodle. But you, you know, I was like the Lord of the Rings. Uh, yes, yes. Real time yes. strategy games, Lucky Time Conquer. There's so many fantastic games, old and new for the PC. And if you wanted to see what old school was kind of like at the earlier Elder Scrolls game, you know, which, which was Morrowind. I mean, there's, there's, there's tons of games. Okay, well, in addition to these games, we have another suggestion for you, since you can't seem to watch all the episodes of our show. It's G4's podcast. After a long, hard day of wasting your life, you probably feel like getting a nice heaping helping of X Play. But what with your commute and your baby daddy calling you, maybe you can't watch X Play every day. Or you get sad in the middle of the night and you need to see us because we are your only friends. Then come on over to g4tv.com slash X Play and download some of our podcasts. Or you can search for us on iTunes. This demand for new media portable attention was brought to you by X Play. Games are for fantasy fulfillment.